Hello everybody, I'm Nina Hartley and welcome to Tuesdays with Nina. And you can send your questions to me at TuesdaysWithNina at gmail.com and I'll do my best to answer them. So today I want to talk a little bit about permission, um, the giving of it, the uh, taking of it uh, when it comes to sexual matters. And I have it's discovered in my own life that uh, a lot of my earlier problems with um, having fun in bed, so to speak, came from my not giving myself permission to just enjoy myself. Um, I put a lot of conditions on uh, who I had sex with, under what conditions, for what purpose. And once I got into bed with people, my mind was still racing and I could not just let myself have a good time. So permission is really important. Obviously, we get our notion of what is okay sexually, uh, first from our family and then from our friends and the greater society, which often tells us, well, sex is okay if you love each other, it's a committed relationship, it's going to lead to marriage, it's going to lead to babies, um, etc., etc. And certainly marriage and relationship and procreating are wonderful reasons to engage in sexual, uh, sexual content conduct with another person, of course, but sometimes simple sharing of pleasure with a friend um, is also really just a very good reason to have, uh, uh, to get naked with somebody in bed. So when we are struggling with letting go in bed, we might want to look at our sense of permission and who gets to grant it and who gets to withhold it. Um, often we wait for permission from our partners to uh, let go. We wait for permission from them that our fantasies are all right or acceptable um, or that they are uh, welcome to our partners. And that can hold us back when we don't think we're going to get permission to break out the costumes, break out a toy, break out a new position or a new situation. And conversely, we might find ourselves ourselves held up in granting permission to our partners to be more open with us or to um, break out the costumes or the toy or the new position or the new location for sex. And it's helpful in learning to become more uh, at ease with sexuality to take a look at permission um, and our whole ideas about it. Uh, it's okay to give permission. It's sort of like eating our vegetables before we get dessert, so do we give ourselves permission to have sex um, when we don't think we've done enough to earn it? Um, oh, I can't take time out for sex right now because I have this whole laundry list of things that I have to do. I can't have sex or sex pleasure until I do A, B, and C, until I lose weight, until I get my work done, until I get my paper done for school, until um, flowers grow on Mars. I don't know what people's permission limits are. And so it's important to give ourselves permission to experience pleasure um, right now. I'm going to say if you're at work, no, no, not right now. Um, but uh, when we are alone and otherwise a, a good position, a good situation, permission is really important. Our self-permission is really important because in the end, honestly, between you and me, only our own permission really matters. Yes, it's good to get permission from our partners, but if we don't also accept that we are, have a right to sex pleasure and having a good time, all the permission from our partners that we get won't let us go to that place inside of us that says, yes, I will and can have a good time uh, today, tonight, right now. So the granting of permission if we don't grant permission to our partners to share with us or to bring out the toy or the costume or the new position or the new location, <clears throat> pardon me, what is that saying? Where is our withholding of permission coming from in us? And if the, uh, we need to take a look at that. Why am I withholding permission? What's really going on? And because um, often sex, of course, gets used as a, a battleground in relationships that the withholding of sex pleasure or the Withholding a permission for sex pleasure can often come from less than noble parts of ourselves, for lack of a better word. And we need to take a look at that. And if our partner is constantly withholding permission from us, we need, it is useful 
to take a look at what's going on there and having that difficult conversation. Uh, because the best sex, as I've often mentioned, is, um, is generous and it is uh, as open as we can be at that moment. So how we do and do not grant and receive permission is actually very telling in terms of our larger sexual picture, our larger sexual um, conversation and our larger sexual narrative. What is the story of our sex lives? The story of my sex life um, was for many years not having permission from my partner to, as I say, be my bad self um, when I kept trying to be more adventuresome or more experimental or to broaden our horizons together, I kept getting shot down with, no, we can't do that. No, this reason, why not? This reason, why not? This reason, why not? And I let that be true for many years. I let his unwillingness to give permission stifle and stymie me. And eventually, of course, it um, affected my emotional relationship to him. It affected my emotional relationship to myself. And eventually, it contributed greatly to the demise of my, of my relationship with my, uh, with my husband at the time. So permission seems like a little thing. Well, I don't have permission to go to play at Susie's house is one thing. But do I have permission to be my full self with my partner is a really different matter. And so permission is very, very important to take a look at. Um, and also, if we give permission too easily when we don't want to do it, we need to take a look at that. When we won't give permission when our partner really wants it, we need to take a look at that. When our partner withholds permission, when we are asking something reasonable, we need to take a look at that. And when our partner um, offers permission for things that scare us, we get to take a look at that. And the, the most useful, the big place for growth, of course, is when our partner says yes, and we're not ready to go there. The sense of freedom within permission can also be scary, as can be the resentment that comes with the withholding of permission. Uh, can be very annoying. Uh, so permission is the word of the day, the giving of it, the withholding of it, the taking of it, and the offering of it are all things to take a look at. So that's a big nugget to chew on. I'll see you next week. I'm Nina Hartley, and this is Tuesdays with Nina. And write to me at TuesdaysWithNina at gmail.com. And I'm happy and looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.